Breaking news, a massive four-day manhunt is over. The man wanted for murdering a Wake County deputy has been captured. Where his escape ended thousands of miles away and the next steps toward his extradition. Plus, happening now, a passionate debate over an abortion bill that is just one step away from the governor's desk. We've carefully looked at all 46 pages of the bill and reveal what it does and doesn't do for women. Changes are coming to all this that will impact your outdoor plans. But our weekend won't be a wash. I'll help you plan around the rain hour by hour. And this just in the House, or rather the Senate, has just passed a bill to further restrict a woman's right to an abortion here in North Carolina. It went from 20 weeks now to 12. It has passed both houses in the state. We, and we have WRL state government reporter Travis Fain. He has just ducked out of the Senate debate to join us now live. Travis, start off by this vote. Uh, tell us what happened in the Senate. So basically we had hours and hours of debate. Democrats in the Senate did the best they could to delay things. But I mean, ultimately, Republicans had the numbers here and they passed this slate of new abortion restrictions and it passed the House last night. So that's on its way to the governor. Party line vote, Republicans backing it. Democrats against, like you said, bans abortion after 12 weeks, exceptions for rape, incest, fetal abnormalities, medical emergencies. But the bill also has a bunch of other new requirements, including multiple in-person visits to get an abortion that will be spaced out over seven, several days, excuse me, before a woman can get an abortion. Uh, Democrats argue that's tantamount to a ban on abortion for women who can't, say, take multiple days off, have other children to care for, travel concerns. Only 14 clinics in North Carolina offer abortions. Uh, hospitals offer them, too, but like 20 counties, something like 20 counties don't have a hospital, uh, Deborah. Travis, tell, tell us about the vote, 29 to 20, I just heard. That's correct. It, it would have been 30 to 20, but one Republican was absent. Uh, that's good enough. Uh, not only to pass this bill, but to overcome, at least in the Senate, a promised a veto from Governor Roy Cooper. That will happen sometime in the next 10 days, 10, 11 days, depending on when the bill is delivered. He's got that long when they're in session. Uh, the real action after that will be in the House, though. Uh, Republicans appear to have the numbers there needed to override that veto. So it will be overridden in the Senate fairly easily, uh, probably overridden in the House. And I expect this to be law. Uh, before too long out, but there are a few steps between now and then. Travis, there's been plenty of debate about this bill, both inside and outside the legislative building. Talk about the mood and, and the scene inside that chamber as they were voting. So if, if you'd come to me like three minutes early, you would have heard people chanting, shame, shame, shame. This was the gallery emptying, emptying out uh, that sits above the state Senate, a number of protesters there. Uh, they were quiet mostly during debate today. Uh, but obviously people are real upset about this and it, some people and some people are very happy about it. And then also some on the right are not happy about it because they wanted it to go further. Uh, but we've seen some protesting, but not a ton, hundreds of people as opposed to thousands. But this bill also emerged less than 48 hours ago uh, when it was released to the public. We've known for a while the abortion bill was coming, but the details, a 46 page bill, uh, 48 hours ago, it sponsors today. Some of them had trouble describing what was in the bill that they were presenting. Uh, so this is something that I think a lot of North Carolina has not caught up on yet. A major development in the North Carolina legislature. Travis Fang, we appreciate it. Thank you. Our coverage of Senate Bill 20 continues on our news at 6 o'clock. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie has a full report on how this impacts your reproductive future. It's a complicated bill, and make sure you go to ncapital.com for more analysis. Deborah, we were able to turn around some of the sound from inside. Uh, Travis Fain was talking about what was happening with some of those uh, protesters there on the second level. Take a listen to what they had to say just seconds after the vote. So definitely some very high tensions inside this afternoon there as the Senate passes this vote. Uh, the vote just happened a short time ago on the abortion bill, as Travis was talking about. So we are still going to have continued reaction, the impacts across the state, and what this will mean going forward as it heads to the governor's desk. Back to you. All right, Mark, thank you.